I will explain about the modes you can use in KV Studio. You can switch the mode from this mode bar drop down menu. The current screen is called Editor Mode. You can use this mode when editing the program in the offline mode while the PLC is not connected. When monitoring the program while the PLC is connected, select Monitor Mode. As you can see here, you can monitor the values and contact status in real time. In Monitor Mode, you can't edit the program. If you need to edit while monitoring the status, select Online Edit Mode. In Online Edit Mode, you can edit the program while monitoring the values. If you want to test the program operation offline without a PLC, you can select Simulator Mode. This is Simulator Mode. Click this button and switch to Run Mode. Then you can check the project operation offline without being connected to a PLC. In Simulator Mode, there is Simulator Edit Mode which you can edit the program while monitoring. In this Replay Mode, you can load and play the operation record data from the CPU unit. Such operation record data are saved by using the operation recorder function. When loading completes, replay mode starts. Operate the replay bar and then click the replay button. Now you can check on your PC the performance history of the PLC program. As you see, KV Studio provides Editor, Monitor, Online Edit, Simulator, Simulator Edit, and Replay modes. Now, let me explain about different versions of KV Series. There are three items which require version updates in KV Series. The first is KV Studio Software. The second is the Project. The third is the PLC. Let me explain the steps you need to take when versions of these items are different. The first one is the version of KV Studio. If the version of KV Studio is the latest version, you can open projects of any version. So, we recommend you to update KV Studio to the latest version. You can update KV Studio from the Key Insight. Now, let me explain about versions of projects and the PLC. When the versions of the project and the PLC are the same, or when the version of the PLC is higher, you can transfer the project just fine. It means, you should keep the KV Studio version always the latest. Then, you can smoothly transfer and edit any old projects. Moreover, you can find a project from a PLC with an old version and transfer the project. Now, what if the project version is newer than the PLC version? In this case, you can update the PLC first. Then transfer the project with the new version. Once the project version is updated, new functions of the PLC become available. If you want to use a new function for the project created before, please update the project version first. Then, update the PLC version. Now you can transfer the project. Both project and the PLC versions can be updated from KV Studio. First, let me explain how to update the project. Project Update is available from this menu of KV Studio. There are different project versions for each unit. For example, when using a new function of the KV8000A, you need to update the KV8000A function version. In case of a new function of the KVXLE02, you need to update the KVXLE02 function version. This time, Let's select new versions of both units and click OK. Now, I will explain about updating the PLC. You can update the PLC version from this menu. 
When you select the menu while the KV8000A is connected to the PC, this window opens. Select the desired units by using the checkboxes. Select the latest versions and click Update. Now the update completed.